YouTube, what's going on, man? It's Staff TV, man. I'm, I'm back with a car video. We're driving up north. You know, gotta get this fitting right. <clears throat> oh man, you know, it's a good, good day just to like drive around. Cause usually on weekends I'm usually grinding, but you know, just to get out of the house and do things, man. It's it's a good thing. It's a blessing, you know. Cause being in the house, you don't get nowhere. Being in the house. Honestly, you don't even get me making you even social. Stay in the house all you want, but you know, you're not going out, you know, meeting new people, meeting good people. And that's like the main important thing. But um, one thing, man, I want to talk about today is, uh, you know, you, you got to make peace with, um, you know, with your, your past, or let's say it like this make peace with, you know, your exes, your baby mama that other stuff you know I think I touched on this before but I, I really want to hit the nail on the coffin so I, I was watching a, a DJ Vlad interview with Matt Bronis and he, he brought up the fact that you know uh, Matt Bronis and his ex slash baby mama you know they no longer together because she was messing around with uh, Derek Fisher which is Matt I mean uh, Matt, yeah Matt Bronner's best well yeah I, I can still say they best friends because they squashed the beef and you know he explained like yeah at that time I wasn't thinking things clearly I'm on the road blah 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 you know you know Gloria cheated on him and then you know caused so much stress in this man's life uh, he had to make peace with that because he wants to be in this kid's life right you know, he, he, he wants to be in his kids' life. But I, yeah, let's just put it like that. And I comment on there. I was like, you know, you got to respect that. You know, him, you know, just being the smarter person. I, I say you got to give him respect for just, you know, you know, uh, fixing the situation. Even though, let's say it like this, like I said earlier in this video. You know that woman was causing so much stress and you know she was being a 304 and, and his best friend you know did him dirty because of the lack of awareness and then you know just really not understanding who she was and you know he could have avoided that but you know once you have kids with that woman man and if you want to be in that woman's life man I mean, you want to be in that kid's life, you got to make peace with it, you know what I'm saying? Because like I always tell guys, man, you know, you have to be smart with who, who you get yourself involved with, especially too, to all you guys out there who want to have children, but when it's too late and she already shown her true colors, the only thing is you have to, I hate to say it to you guys, you just got to just be calm, you know, you know, you just got to adapt to and, and, you know, you don't love her. You don't have to respect her, but you have to be in your children's life because now that's the main important. It's always your children first. Even though the woman did you bogus and then the woman did you like this, but you got to understand and realize, all right, man, she, she no longer part of the program, but I want to show my kids how much of a great father I am. A lot of men go through that because a woman drive you crazy, get you out of character what not but you gotta be a, a bigger person be like you know what I just I mean not a bigger person but you gotta be like you know what I just really wanna be in my kids life cause that's the main important and that's what all men have to understand man because you know you know how women are they, they wanna be like oh you, your, your daddy ain't this your daddy ain't that but even though it's the woman the woman that causes all this problem Men don't cause the problems. The woman, not unless she got with a deadbeat dude. But Matt, he just like, I just want to be in my father's, and I just want to be in the kid's life. I want to be a great dad. And you got to give that some, you have to give some respect to that. You have to give a lot of respect for that. Because months go by, years go by, and it affects the children. Children be like, oh, where, where my dad at? Why he ain't around? Meanwhile, my mom in the children's ears saying a whole bunch of other uh, a whole bunch of other stuff gotta be careful with that fellas 
And, and I, I, I seen the replies, man, was like, oh, we had no choice. He, he had no choice. He, he had to get a restraining order against him. Or, um, yeah, that, that's what it was. What else he supposed to do? Yeah, you're right. But like I always say in the beginning of the video, man, you know, before you, no, actually, I say it in a lot of my videos, before you decide to take that woman seriously and have children, you got to ask yourself, will this be good for me long term? Will this be okay for me long term? Because if not, this woman could cause a lot of pain in my life, but not a lot of men think like that. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of, a lot of, not a lot of men think like that. Oh, she hot, she bad. She's the most beautiful thing ever. And then, boom, you end up in a situation like that. I got homies back, you know, I got homies who probably can't even see their kids because it's the, the woman that causes all this nonsense, causes all the stress. You can't. Yeah, because it's the woman that causes all these, these, these crazy to play these games. And you have to just bite the bullet. You got to bite that bullet, man. Especially, too, if you want to be in your child's life. You got to understand that, fellas, man. Because, you know, your children are more important. Because us, man, we already being labeled, oh, we're no good. We, we hate women. We, we're not good examples of being father material but when you have a man that's trying to do that and you got the woman that's crazy creating all these problems bro you you, you all gonna, you gonna fail that's why you just gotta bite that bullet sometimes and just make peace with it and wait for her to calm down you know what i'm saying oh whenever she feels like okay i i did enough let let me just make amends to it but you know it's just you know guys gotta fight back man you know in the court system all right, it's not working with this. All right, man, let me, let me go. Let me let me get my my rights to see my kids, man. Or even let me say it like this too, like with y'all ex girlfriends, man. Like a lot of men out here, the woman got you, the woman got you blocked, and, and all this nonsense, and you still calling her, and you you, you want her back. Meanwhile two things she don't move on probably found somebody better in in, in in getting dug out and that's all because of you because you still want to talk and, 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 and conversate with a girl who's who's already done with you she already dug you bro and there's nothing you can do about that yeah, so, bro, yeah. and there's nothing you can do about that you just gotta you gotta learn man i man she, she on her knees sucking somebody else she ain't sucking me off so she, go we ain't together no more let her go you know what i'm saying let her go move on from the situation make peace with it because you can't make peace with it and you want somebody else and you're trying to run game i don't work like that I don't work like that fellas you gotta be smart you know what i'm saying make peace be at peace with it so you can live a better life that's all I gotta say, man.